My name is Mark Pilkington, and I'm the author of a new book on the future of retailing called Retail Recovery. I'm very excited to be with you here today to talk about something that I believe is a big part of that future, which is to do with building brand communities. We're living in a world where the consumer has infinite choice and perfect knowledge. Competition is legion and many products have become commoditized. The old barriers to entry that used to protect incumbents, the high costs of building brands and building stores no longer exist. These days, anyone armed with a Shopify website, a great product and social media smarts can succeed. It is a brutal environment and many famous brands have gone out of business, unable to cope with the new reality. How can an incumbent retailer survive and thrive under such circumstances? One of the keys, I believe, lies in creating a community around the brand, a kind of walled garden which protects it against the cold winds of competition. But how does one do this? Just because one has stores where consumers go to transact does not mean that they have any feelings towards the brand. My research indicates that there are several key ingredients that go into the creation of a strong brand community. The most important of these is to articulate a clear vision of what the brand is trying to achieve over and above the pure pursuit of sales. Just selling stuff simply doesn't cut it anymore. This sense of higher purpose needs to go well beyond paying lip service to supporting charities. It needs to be something that the brand team and importantly customers feel passionately about. And this shared commitment helps to create a strong bond between the customers and the brand. Secondly, it's important to move away from traditional push style mass marketing and start to treat customers as individuals and involve them in the life of the brand. The key to this is to build good cross-channel customer data systems that enable the brand to understand the customers as individuals and better meet their needs. It's also really important to build an interactive relationship between the brand and the consumers. This can be achieved quite simply by holding regular get-togethers, by co-developing products and by encouraging customers to share user-generated content on their own social media feeds. Thirdly, it is key to maximise the value out of stores within the multi-channel mix. Historically, the role of stores was to hold large product ranges, manage stock and to process transactions, which inevitably meant large spaces and a lot of administrative staff. But in a multi-channel world, it is more economical to display large product ranges online, hold more of the stock centrally and encourage the customers, if necessary, to purchase from the store and ship to their door. This means that stores can be more compact, stocking best sellers only and selling the rest of the range from in-store screens. The money that is saved on space and stock holding and processing can be invested in great things like brand theatre, community building and gold star service. The key is to move away from using stores as glorified warehouses with a fringe of customer service because that can be got more cheaply online. A great example of a retailer that does all this really well is Rafa, the cycling brand. Rafa's higher purpose is the development of cycle racing. It has sponsored the British team on numerous occasions, authored scholarly papers on the future of the sport and turned its stores into shrines featuring live racing on screen, the pictures of past champions and even display cases with the Mayo of uh, uh, heroes of cycling of the past. It's also developed a strong uh, brand community through the Rafa Cycling Club, which offers members benefits such as support at major sportifs, ride planning and access to exclusive products. Lastly, it has turned its stores into what it calls clubhouses for the brand, devoting significant space to in-store cafes where members can meet to enjoy free coffee before rides. In this intimate environment, staff can mingle with customers, exchanging ideas which drive product innovation. As a result of all of these actions that it has taken to develop a strong brand community, Rafa has enjoyed stellar results even during the recent retail crises. In summary, the key for retailers is to move away from a purely transactional focus and to create emotional bonds with customers in order to create strong brand communities. This in turn will give them some protection and lift them out of the morass of pure price competition, ensuring them a healthy future. Thank you very much.